This lesson is about addition of monomials for number 1, 2a plus 4a. In here, just simply add the numerical coefficient, so 2 plus 4 is 6. Then copy the given variable, which is a. For number 2, a plus 6a. a in here means 1a. And therefore, 1 plus 6 is 7. Then copy the given variable, which is a. You have to remember that if the numerical coefficient is 1, you don't need to write it anymore. For number 3, 4a squared plus 6a squared plus 3a. Again, you have to remember that you only have to add similar terms or like terms. In here, the similar terms are 4a squared and 6a squared. So when we add them, this is 10a squared. Now what to do with 3a? So just simply copy this. So the final answer will be 10a squared plus 3a. For number 4, 2a plus 3b. As you observe, the variables are not the same, which means they are unlike. And if the terms are unlike, then we cannot combine them. And therefore, the answer is still 2a plus 3b. For number 5, negative 3m plus 5m. So in here, we're going to add what we have studied about addition of integers. So negative 3 and then positive 5. From what we have studied about this, a pair of positive and negative numbers lead you to 0, which means we have here 2m. Because two positive were left. Number six, negative 4a plus 2b plus 7a plus 10b. Again, combine similar terms or like terms. So we have here negative 4a and 7a. Four negative, seven positive. This will give you two positive 3a. Then, let's add 2b and 10b. This results to 12b. And so, the final answer is 3a plus 12b. In here, we're going to add binomials. For number 1, 2a plus 3 plus 9a plus 6. So, we can add this horizontally by combining similar terms. 2a plus 9a, the answer is 11a. 3 plus 6 is 9. So the answer is 11a plus 9. That is how we add binomials horizontally. We can also add this vertically. How? So, let's solve this vertically through this. 2a plus 3 plus 9a plus 6. 2a plus 9a is 11a. And 3 plus 6 is 9. As you observe, this is just the same when you add this horizontally. So, it's up to you whether you're going to add it horizontally or vertically. Let us try to solve this vertically. So, negative 3m plus 8n plus 7m minus 5n. So, again, just simply use what we have studied about addition of integers. Negative 3m plus 7m is 4m. Now in here, positive 
n plus negative 5n, we will have positive 3n. And so the answer is 4m plus 3n. For number 3, negative 12a plus 3b plus 9a minus 2b. So we have here negative 12a plus 9a. The answer will be negative 3a. And in here, 3 plus negative 2 is 1. However, if the numerical coefficient is 1, you don't need to write it anymore. So the answer will be B. So we have here negative 3A plus B. For number 4, 4X plus 8Y plus negative 7X plus 10Y. So... 4x plus negative 7x is negative 3x. And then we'll add them because they're both positive. So we have here 18y. And the final answer will be negative 3x plus 18y. Now, let's try to add trinomials. So we have here 12a plus 3b plus 60. Then we're going to add it to 9a plus 2b plus c. So 12a plus 9a, we have 21a plus 3b plus 2b, we have 5b. Next, 60 plus c. Again, there is 1, which means we will have 7C. And so the final answer is 21A plus 5B plus 7C. Another, for number 2, 4X plus 8Y minus 9Z plus negative 7X plus 10Y plus 5z. So again, let's combine similar terms. 4x plus negative 7x, we have negative 3x. So since these are both positive, then we have 18y. And then, since 9 is negative, we'll have negative 4z. So the final answer is negative 3x plus 18y minus 4c. So for those who are, for those who forget, addition of integers, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is already equal to 0. That's why we have here negative 3. Same with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is already 0. That's why we have negative 4. Another. What if we have this? 8a plus 3b. However, in here, there is c. Now what to do with this? So we will align A with A. Since B is different from C, then this should be aligning here. Then let us just combine terms that are similar. 8A plus A is 9A. And then let's just bring down 3B. And then bring down 2C. So the answer is 9a plus 3b minus 2c. Let's try number 4. 5x plus 2y. Then we will add this to negative 8y plus 3z. 
And so again, just combine terms that are similar. So we have here 5x and then negative 6y plus 3z. Why negative 6? So 1, 2. And then we have here negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is already 0. Which means we have negative 6. So the final answer is 5x minus 6y plus 3z. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.